I'm watching Coach Shelton Harris's show. <laughs> yes, ma'am. Thank you. <laughs> you said that good. Coach Shelton Harris said there'll never be no comparison. You're live on the show. Sit back and have a listen. All right, all right. LDBC, this is your boy Coach Shelton Harrison. You're live, live, live on the Coach Shelton Harrison Combat Sports Show Live. Okay, guys, the topic of Chris Cyborg and steroid usage is a hot topic in women's MMA. And, you know, for some reason, people just seem like that Chris Cyborg is the only person to, to use steroids. So we're going to have a discussion about it, okay? I'm going to talk to you about it. Okay, I've been in the game 20 years, and I definitely understand how steroids affect the body, positively and negatively. Um, you know, Chris Cyborg, the most common thing people are saying right now, you know, Chris Cyborg is still using steroids right now. Even to this day, Chris Cyborg is still using steroids in 2017. Now, you know, or, you know, Chris Cyborg is still getting the benefits of steroid usage from six years ago. Okay, now, I, I'm, I'm finna debunk that. I'm gonna debunk that because clearly in this photograph, you can definitely tell that Chris Cyborg got benefits of steroid usage. And even a couple of people are saying, yeah, you can tell by the size of the muscles and this and, and the cut. Okay, great. I'm glad y'all said that. Because Chris Cyborg did get popped in 2011. That's a fact. That's a straight up fact. Nobody here listening to this video can deny what I'm saying. Okay? But if you guys want to base it now off Chris Cyborg and her big muscles in 2017, okay, because this was Chris Cyborg in 2011. Clearly, you can see. But, you know, also, you had Jessica Penne pop. And it's like, you know, I always wonder, why don't people bring up the fact that Jessica Penne popped? Whenever I mention Jessica Penne, don't, don't, you know, people don't say anything about that. People say, they say nothing about it. Jessica Penne never comes up. But you know what the excuse will be, right? You know what the excuse going to be, well, Jessica Penne not a star. Oh, okay. So just because Jessica Penne not a damn star, that literally excuses her from, you know, using steroids. So she gets a pass. Basically... Jessica Penne gets a pass. We know what these damn double standards are. Folks, follow me here. Stay with me, okay? Let's continue. So let's really take a look at Chris Cyborg in 2017, and I'm going to point this out to you. Oh, yeah. Oh, I'm sorry. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So that's Jessica Penne, and, yep, yeah, she was on steroids. Hell, she fought Danielle Taylor, roided up. But don't nobody want to say nothing about that. Oh, oh yeah, that's right, because it's Danielle Taylor in, the, in Octagon, and Danielle Taylor's boring. So Danielle Taylor deserves to get her head kicked in by some roided-up person, like Jessica Penny. I know, I know, I, I know, but I know we're not going to talk about that. Okay, but let's continue. Okay, so here, this first box in red, that's Chris Cyborg in 2017. You got to tell me, okay? You can go find this picture on Google. That's right after her victory of Tanya Evinger. Chris Cyborg probably had to be about 155 pounds. Maybe maybe she was 160 pounds fight night. Tanya Evinger looked like she was about 150-something. I mean, guys, there's a huge difference between that photograph and the 2011 photograph of Chris Cyborg. I mean, come on, folks. Clearly, this girl, whatever she was using in 2011, she ain't got it no more. She can't have it no more because, let me tell you, her muscle mass, her definition, that stuff done decrease. Chris Cyborg ain't ripped like that. But see, people want to use this narrative, oh, okay, well, you know, yeah, because she got these big muscles and they ripped. Oh, okay, okay. So if we want to say that, if that's the route that, you know, hey, this is the route that we're going to take, okay, then, why don't anybody say something about the muscle mass and size of Holly Holm? Now, I want some of you emotional guys to get this, okay? And she ain't green. Coach Shelton Harrison is not saying that Holly Holm is using steroids. I'm not saying that. What I'm doing is I'm arguing a point that there are multiple women in women's MMA that's got massive muscles with definition. They've never been popped. Okay, they've never been popped, and Coach Shelton Harrison is not saying that they're using steroids. See, I got to repeat myself five times because I know that some damn body in the comment section, they're going, see, man, you can't assume that they're using steroids. I'm dead set. I'm not coming back to this channel. Okay. So I'm just going, I'm, a, I'm straight up, and I'm going to be true to my word. I'm going to ignore those comments. Because if you don't listen to the video and you get one minute or two minutes in, then you can't know what the hell I'm talking about. You can't. But let's continue. I mean, look at the size of Holly Holm. I mean, could we argue and say maybe she's using something? We could argue that, but that's not fact. Fact is, she hasn't been popped, and i got to keep reiterating that. I mean, Holly Holm, you can tell, even in a fight with uh, Betch Cohea, Holly Holm is a big girl. 
And I've been saying this for about what? Uh, I've been saying this for 10 months that she too big for 135 pounds. Holly got muscle mass definition, but we don't want to talk about the muscle mass of Holly Holmes, but we talk about the mass of Cyborg. If if you guys, by what you guys are saying, because you guys said this, look at Cyborg muscle mass and definition. Look at that. Oh, she's still on steroids. Okay. I mean, Holly Holm got more definition than Chris Cyborg. Does that mean she on steroids? I mean, answer the question. Because I know y'all got an excuse for this, okay? Now, let me go ahead and go to the next person. Liz Carmooch in yellow. Now, if you're telling me that Liz Carmooch got less definition than Cyborg, I'll stop making these videos. Liz Carmooch is jacked. Hell, and, and look at this photograph right here. Liz Carmooch looked like a damn bodybuilder in this, in this photograph. That's after a weigh-in. Are you serious? Hell, Liz Carmooch got a damn heartbeat in her forehead. I mean, look at this, man. Look at this. Liz Carmooch is jacked. Now, can I sit here and say that Liz Carmooch is on steroids? I can't say that. I can say she looks like it. One can be very suspect of it. But I can't just say she on steroids because she haven't been popped yet. Do you guys understand where I'm going with this? Because, see, if you guys want to base this solely now on 2017, that Chris Cyborg got these big muscles, I'm sorry. I, I muscle mass don't support what y'all saying. It just don't. The size of Chris Cyborg does not support what you guys are saying. I, I don't think she's using steroids in 2017. I don't think she is. And I, th I don't think she has for a long time. What do you guys think? Like, you use steroids, you ingest them, and then you get the benefits of it? Like, that's not how steroids work. You have to actually work out, and you got to push your body to the limit to get the results of steroid usage. That's, that's the part of an enhancement drug. It will enhance your performance, but you got to actually go put the work behind it to get the benefits. And I just don't see any evidence today that Cyborg is on steroids. I mean, I just don't. Okay, look at Julia Budd. People been saying, I mean, it's been out there. People been saying for years that they think Julia Budd on steroids. She's never been popped. Julia Budd is sculpted. I'm talking about there's not an ounce of body fat on Julia Budd. Julia Budd is massive. She's very, very massive. And she got much more definition than Chris Cyborg. But can we really, you know, okay. But since we're talking about the muscle mass, we're talking about this. Okay, do people think she on steroids? Yeah. But is it a fact? No, it's not a fact. It is not a fact that Julia Budd's on steroids because she's never been tested positive. And unfortunately, Chris Cyborg have. But see, if we're going to continue to go on muscle mass, I mean, why are we not talking about this? Why nobody ain't furtherly actually investigating this? Do any of these ladies have any past? I mean, Holly Holm was suspect because she was uh, being sponsored by a company that's been known for having banned illegal substances. But Holly Holm herself has never tested positive, okay? And I got to keep reiterating with y'all because I know we got people that's got ADD and don't listen. So I'm going to keep reiterating it. But if you're going to tell me that Cyborg's muscle mass is, is she cut, she on steroids, then, then, then I mean, look, we got to take a look at some of these other people. Okay, Red Nakai. Red Nakai. Lots of muscle mass. Huge. Huge muscle mass. I don't know. Can we say she's using steroids? Can we say that? Has she been popped? Not that I'm aware of. No. Okay, let's go to the next person. Kat Zingano. Kat Zingano more defined than Chris Cyborg. And hell, back in 2011, Kat Zingano was jacked. Zingano was jacked back then. In 2012, was jacked. She's still jacked today. Oh, she jacked. Now, could we speculate? Maybe we think she on steroids? Yeah, we can say we think she is, but she hasn't been popped that I'm aware of. But if we want to look at muscle mass and muscle density, and all, Kat Zingano was a big girl. And Kat Zingano, people are saying that she's too small for 145. No, she not. Kat Zingano would fit right into the 145-pound division. And I think she'd be even stronger. I think Kat Zingano would have a damn advantage at 145. Because I think her strength and mass would carry up. And she would be a formidable force at a featherweight. But if she fights Cyborg, she still will go to sleep. But th this is what I'm trying to get at, okay? See, it's a double standard with Chris Cyborg. It, it is, okay? The, the double standard is going to be there. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter if Chris Cyborg 
could walk on water. Doesn't matter if Chris Cyborg gave a million dollars to everybody on the planet. It don't matter because she's still going to be judged from 2011. And I'm sorry, y'all. I just don't see any physical evidence. Okay, I'm not. I'm looking at telltale signs, acne. I'm looking at like muscle density, muscle cut. Okay, I'm looking at all that stuff. I'm looking at like the definite. No, she don't. She not that defined, y'all. She not. But hell, Holly Holm, Julia Bud, especially Liz Carmouche, they defined as hell. I mean, they could probably be bodybuilders. They could tra- they could transfer over to bodybuilders. But you guys tell me what you think. Nothing I'm saying here, the only fact the only fact that I gave y'all is that Chris Cyborg and, and Jessica Penne, they got popped. They have been using steroids in the past. But the rest of these ladies, they've not been popped. So please get that through your head. But who do you think could be suspect? This is your boy, Coach Sheldon Harris. And I'm done. What are you guys waiting on? Subscribe to the best women's MMA platform on YouTube.